Hi guys, we are back with another video. I'm going to talk you guys through the demolition process. The main reason I'm doing that is because I wasn't recording with my camera then because at that point in time, I didn't plan on um, recording the process. I was just doing and not recording. So a lot of the clips that and pictures that I have are vertical because I just took them on my phone and I didn't plan to post them to YouTube. But now, that I am I'm gonna go through the process and I'm gonna explain the plan so you understand better and this is gonna help you with future videos because you'll understand the layout of our kitchen so boom we dabbing right in cuz I have to go do more work <laughs> the first picture you're going to see is one view of the walls we're going to knock out the next photo is a different angle of the same exact wall so it's like you're stepping to your right um, and this wall is the longest portion of the wall and this is the wall that we were told was low bearing stay tuned for the unfolding of that so this wall is low bearing the other wall is not and that's this wall that you see now with the refrigerator on it this wall we were told was not low bearing but all of this is being knocked out this photo same thing different angle we're in the process of setting up the plastic that will cover the parts that we know we're not gonna demo that day. We're also creating a plastic wall from the ceiling to the floor to contain the dust that will be coming from the two walls being knocked out. So that's what you see us doing here. Well, you see Hopeton <laughs> doing it and you see me recording a few clips. So we got the thicker plastic for the creating of the walls and to cover up like the stove and the, um, the part of the counters that we weren't knocking out and then I also suggest getting a thinner plastic for the stuff that you know you're not gonna move it's just gonna sit there but if you put that thin plastic over it it'll protect it and so the dust won't get on it and that's gonna save you cleaning time that's something that I really wish I did from the start this is a quick update once the demo had started we had gotten out the section of the cabinet that was over the fridge and then we got out the two um cabinets that were next to that so there was a lower and an upper next to the fridge and those two were taken out and that's the empty space you see here and then we started demoing that wall now it was at this moment we knew something was not <laughs> right y'all as you're watching this brief demo footage here, I want you to pay attention to the thickness of all of the debris on the ground. Our walls are not drywall. This project that was supposed to take a couple hours to knock out a couple walls took all night because our walls are not made out of drywall. They are made out of um, something called blue board, which is plaster and cement. And we knew going in our walls were made up of some sort of plaster because you can tell when you, you know, put screws into the wall, you can tell um, when you're taking the screws out that it is not drywall. So we knew it was a form of plaster and it's not unsafe plaster. However, these walls are thick. They are not just made up of plaster, it's plaster and cement. So it's a compound mixture. Um, and I don't know exactly, I'm not a contractor i'm not a builder but this is what we were told so it's a it's called blue board and then there's cement that is mixed in so my walls are made out of the same thing that fred flintstone walls is made out of and i'm knocking them out <laughs> so because we knew um it wasn't drywall we also weren't anticipating that it would be so thick and so hard to knock out like these walls it just wasn't easy it was not an easy process it took quite some time i know you see hgtv and you see these people running through walls and kicking through walls and punching through walls you cannot do that at my house my this house is sturdy baby she's sturdy and she does not move it does not matter how you push pull punch she does not move so we had to fight to get these walls down because they just were not they weren't coming out 
so our demo process took much much longer than anticipated this stuff is heavy so not only are we knocking it out we also have to go through this cleanup process to get all of this stuff out of the house and it's also super dusty a lot more dusty than standard drywall to me so um it was double the work probably triple the work because it's so heavy it's so thick and we had to take it all to the dumpster in our driveway so that was fun and then you see the house broken down you see the walls broken down to studs and then knocked out some part of the wall next to the window because of the steel beam that is being put into the ceiling so we were told that a post would be going into the wall here I'm just explaining that we still have the plastic partition up to protect protect the rest of the room and to minimize the dust from traveling all through the house. So I'm just showing you guys the partition and showing you guys how much of the wall we actually knocked out. And then also showing you guys which cabinets came out and um, the fan that came out that was over the stove. And then that we are also knocking out the soffits. So now I'm going through showing you guys what we are taking out um, this day and we're going through and we're taking out all the soffits and then well is showing you where we were um told the post would go so the post would go into that wall and then the beam would sit on that post and that's this opening that's here and um i'm showing you how far across the ceiling the beam would run and then where it would sit so we're taking out everything that we thought would be in their way and then I'm showing you guys our current kitchen setup. Everything that was in the cabinets was placed on a shelf right there in the laundry room. So we did have a, a decent amount of space that allowed us to move everything from the kitchen to the laundry room. And then outside, we put all of our demo stuff on the patio because we knew that night we knew we wouldn't have time to do it. So we moved it all to the patio, cleaned up the inside of the house, and then that next day, we knew we would take time to take all of that stuff to the dumpster. Now here, we're going to freeze. Freezing here because I want to explain these copper pipes running through our wall. Um, these copper pipes are for a heated ceiling. The heated ceiling was installed when this home was built. Because that heated ceiling is there, we have a boiler system. That boiler system works for the heated ceilings on the main floor, and then we have heated floors in the basement. And all of those are being cut out because we don't want heated ceilings on the main floor. Another thing that is not standard in a regular home, so this was another thing that we had to tackle. This part of the demo was another day, and we were knocking all of the soffits out, and then we're also going through and taking out uh, the room divider. I believe we had already taken out the door, the sliding the pocket door. And um, that's what you see here. And our entire kitchen was on our patio. <laughs> and it was wild to see because after days of work seeing all that stuff out there, it was just like, wow. We brought all that stuff down. So we didn't just throw it in the dumpster like that because we knew we needed to get a bunch of stuff in there. So we broke all the cabinets down and threw that stuff in the dumpster. And then that is our ceiling. Those piles of what looks like thick, I don't even know what. That is not the ceiling. That's Those are the walls. So all that stuff is going in the dumpster that is in our driveway. A large part of demo is cleaning so I had to go through a lot and just make sure that we were keeping the space as clean as we possibly could especially after demo because we are living here we do have small children and we don't want a ton of dust just staying in the house so the better you clean the less dust that will be around the house one day me and my husband randomly decided to go into the kitchen and take out some some of the studs this is another twist because when we were taking out the studs, that's when my husband discovered the bow in the ceiling. That bow in the ceiling was indicative of that wall, that part of the ceiling supporting a load. He was spot on when he noticed this, so we ended up knocking two of the studs that we had just taken out during this part of the video. We ended up knocking two of those back to underneath to support the load. We decided to work.
Let me see. Uh, <gasps> she couldn't take it. Hey, she was a trooper. A though. rider. She was a trooper. Go on, show the camera. Baby, I Look good, that's look. so young. Your last, hey, <laughs> your last hoorah. You did what needed to be done. Wow. Y'all don't know how long I had this hammer. You don't know how long I had that. I don't know how long. <laughs> The structural engineer that we consulted told us it wasn't low bearing, but it was. So if my husband had noticed that, who knows what happened to the roof and the ceiling. Um, so pay, pay attention while you demo. We consult people because we want trusted sources and we want to ensure that we're doing uh, the right thing and making the right decisions. But everybody makes mistakes. I'm gonna insert our confessionals for this episode and you'll see what the children think of all of this very briefly, very, very briefly. What? Sage, it's time for your confessional. How do you feel about the renovation? <laughs> really? <laughs> Does it make you happy? happy. A little bit? Mm -mm. Not even a little bit? Okay, one more question for you. Do you think mama and dad is doing a good job? Mm -mm. Okay, that was very honest. I appreciate your feedback. Now it's time for Ashton's confessional. <laughs> How do you feel about... Shh, quiet on the set. How do you feel about the kitchen renovation? Uh, fine. Fine. Do you think mama and dad is doing a good job? Kinda. Mm -hmm. Very honest children. Do you have any other thoughts about the kitchen? Oh, I can't wait about the. Um... All right, thank you. For, thank oh, she's joining us. She's back. Thank you for your insight. We appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next episode. Say bye. 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 Remember one thing for show and two things for certain. Everything always works out and history always repeats itself. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.